What's up? It's Andy Grammer with Jag. Hi, this is Carly Rae Jepsen, and you're listening to Jag. Hey, everybody, it's Joe Jonas hanging with Jag. This is Heather Knox, Playboy's Miss January 2012. With the hottest Jag I've ever seen. It's B.O.B. checking in with my homie Jag. So much swag with my homie Jag. It's the Jag Show Podcast. Welcome back, all you cool cats and kittens, and I promise to retire that joke at the end of the week. Today, we're going to look at how the coronavirus and COVID-19 have affected the podcasting industry. And like so many industries, it's still early. We still don't have definitive data, but I want to give you a couple quick ideas. And also, I'm going to tell you about the Tinder of podcasting coming up. Okay, so here are some interesting takeaways from the early data about COVID-19 and podcasting. Podcast downloading is starting to shift when it's not automatic. It's shifting to later in the day. Pretty easy answer here. People aren't in their car. They don't have a morning commute anymore. So they're listening when they have an opportunity, maybe when they have some downtime later in the day, not at 6, 7, 8 a.m. as they're getting ready to go to work. Also, listening on embedded web players is up. So Sometimes people, because they're in front of their computer all day now, they're listening to a podcast on the web on their laptop as opposed to downloading it and listening on their mobile device. The bad news is that overall podcasting revenue seems to be down about 20%. The silver lining is that compares with 90% of -of out-of-home advertising. So, of course, podcast revenue has declined, but not as sharply as some of the stuff like our friends in radio and television. Uh, One study that I've linked to in the show notes has 18% of adults saying they're listening to podcasting more, with the biggest jump, of course, not surprisingly, among Generation Z. And in another stat that won't be surprising, news podcasts are way up, sports podcasts are way down, because, well, there's no sports right now. And we're seeing more brands seizing the opportunity that I keep suggesting to connect with your audience by launching podcasts, including Joe Biden, Andrew Yang, And even the Washington Wizards NBA team want to stay top of mind during this NBA work stoppage. They've got behind the scenes with players and coaches and staff members. They've got an international podcast. Really interesting that the Washington Wizards are doing this because when the NBA comes back, they're going to be that far ahead of other teams. Also linked in the show notes today, a great article from Spotify suggesting incorporating listener interaction to improve your show. People are in desperate search of that human connection right now. If you're able to read comments out loud or play audio messages that your listeners leave for you, you are now making them part of the show and you are connecting with them. And podcasting is all about connecting, especially in this current environment. Some quick other podcasting news from this week. The Roadcaster Pro, the mobile studio that I swear by and was the best investment that I ever made, and I'm not being paid to say that. They have a new firmware update that's in beta if you want to test it, offering uh, some new features, including reverb, more control over your processing, and exporting your files as MP3s as opposed to waves if you've got hard drive issues. Uh, They also have added a new mic preset for the very famous ElectroVoice RE20 microphone, which you'll see in a lot of radio studios. I'm going to wait till they finish beta testing it before I try it because I don't want to mess anything up that I'm doing for clients. And I'm also waiting on that preset for the microphone that I'm using right now, the Shure SM7B. Dr. Anthony Fauci, he, of course, continues to be everywhere. He was on Dr. Sanjay Gupta's show recently, and Thursday morning he was on The Daily from the New York Times. I thought Michael Barbaro was kind of rough on him, asking some pretty tough questions, respectfully, but some tough questions. And Fauci really showed that his brilliance is not just on infectious diseases. He is a great, great interview. He's very deft with how he answers questions and walks a line between not saying anything bad about the administration, but also being honest, answering questions and providing great information. I'm fine with the added security around Dr. Anthony Fauci. He is a national treasure. Apple has launched a list of podcasts they recommend related to the coronavirus outbreak. Also, many podcasts are small businesses. And in this time where we're trying to help so many small businesses, Podcasts are taking donations from those who have a few bucks to spare. Now, podcasts asking for donations is not a new thing, but with websites like Patreon and others, if there's a podcast that you really like that might be related to a small business, consider making a donation if you're able. Podchaser has launched something called Reviews for Good. The hashtag is reviews, the number four, good. For every podcast review on their platform, they're going to donate 25 cents to Meals on Wheels. And if the host of the podcast replies to the review, they'll double that up to 50 cents. If enough people start leaving reviews and comments, that can add up very quickly. Link to that is in the show notes as well. Um, And for a laugh, it's being called the Tinder of podcasts. Uh, The website is matchmaker.fm. 
It's not going to give you a mate. Remember, we got to be social distancing, but it will match podcast hosts up with podcast guests. So in a way, it's called the Tinder of podcasting. I'm not on it yet, but if I do get on it, I hope you'll swipe right on me. And finally, a quick plug. I have launched new tiers of podcast services through JAG in Detroit. I've kind of color-coded them along the lines of my radio background with uh, record sales. So the silver package is pretty straightforward. If you want me to edit your podcast for you, you record it, you send me the MP3, I clean it up, and I send it back to you. The gold package, I will record you remotely, sit in on the session, uh, make sure everything is okay, and then I'll do the editing and everything else that I do. If you upgrade to the platinum package, I will co-host your podcast with you. Again, totally remotely. It'll sound like we're in the same room. The technology is that good. And then once the quarantine is lifted, I'll be offering the diamond package, which means I will come to your office or home with my mobile studio and we can record in person without you even having to leave. Get a link to all those packages on my website and as well as my contact information, my phone number, my email, my social media, all in today's show notes. Again, as we enter another weekend and week, I don't know what number it is. We hope that you're staying safe. We hope you're doing your social distancing. We're hoping you're heeding all the advice of the professionals. And honestly, hope you're listening to more podcasts. Have a great weekend. Later.